Hey guys, Benny Obscene here. This is our family PW80. I rip around the yard on this. The wife rips around, we throw the kids on it. It's the family fun machine. And it's kind of having a hard time starting. It's running like junk. The carburetor needs to get cleaned out. It's been sitting for a while. So today is the perfect day to take you through how we clean out the carburetor on this thing, get it tuned up, get it running a little bit better. The first thing that I like to do whenever I'm messing around with one of these is I throw on some of these gloves and I make sure that we've got some ventilation in the garage. Sure enough, I'm gonna spill gasoline at some point here and it just sticks to your hands for days. Just throwing on some of these gloves makes everything that much better. And then I just take a block of wood, pop it underneath the kickstand, elevates things a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to get in there. Once you're ready to rock, the first step is to get the gasoline out of the carb. And you can do that by first making sure that the petcock is turned off. That just stops the flow from the gas tank into the carb, goes through this little guy. And then you've got a screw right here at the bottom, which will drain out the carburetor bowl. So if you think about it, you're cutting it off up here at the tank, and then you're just draining out whatever's left into wherever you want. These can be a little bit tricky. So right here, it doesn't want to go. I'm not going to force it. I'm going to get a different tool. All right. Give it the old impact. That was it. All right. So as I unscrew this, that fuel's gonna start dripping out. Once the fuel is done dripping out, that means that the carburetor is empty. Go ahead and close that back up because you'll definitely forget to do it later. And then we're looking for two more screws to loosen up the carburetor itself. That's this guy right here, which connects it to the engine, and this guy right here, which connects it to the air box. Go ahead and loosen both of those. Once those are loose, what that allows you to do is you can then kind of twist the carburetor like this and then I'll give you access to the float bowl itself. Up next, we got four screws on the bottom of the carb. For the sake of efficiency, I'm just going to zap these guys out. Oh, shit. That's not how that's supposed to go. But we got the bottom here off. Let's take a look. Nothing too bad in there. With the cover off, what we're going after next is this guy right here. That's the jet for the carburetor. And to get that off, I've got a little eight millimeter wrench here. Shouldn't be on too tight. Just loosen that off and unscrew it out. Oh, shit. Well, I'm doing a great job here. All right, get this guy out. Since everything's fallen out already, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to spray some carb cleaner through the different, the different passages in here. This is the jet, and that's the piece that came out that we unscrewed with that eight millimeter this thing, its job is to take the gasoline that's in the bottom of that float and deliver it into the carburetor venturi. So there's like a little hole right here and the gas travels through that hole, out these holes, into the engine. The important thing, and you don't really have to worry about that, the important thing is that these holes need to be clear in order for the carburetor to function and that's what gets gummed up over time with old gas or dirty gas. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that carburetor cleaner, spray it through these holes, and then blow some air through it. Something that you might be tempted to do is like fish some wire through there or something like that, 
That could damage this since it's brass. So your best bet is to just take the carb cleaner, spray it through this, and then just blow it out with air, and that'll get these holes nice and clear. When you're done with that, all you gotta do is point this thing at the sun and you'll be able to get a nice clear visual on whether you've cleared out these different holes uh, and whatnot. So if, if you get a nice clear line of sight through it, you'll be able to tell right away, did I clean this out or is it still gunked up? That's about all there is to it for the cleaning part. I mean, you can get more in depth with this rebuild but now it's just putting everything back together and seeing if it works. The last thing that I'm gonna do is snip a little bit of length off of this fuel line. Cause as you can see, it's getting kinked up a little bit there. I think that that's hurting a little bit of the flow. So while this is somewhat clean, let's pull this guy off. Let that drain out. Get out of there, bro. Thanks for watching. That's pretty much all there is to it. Again, just the real quick nitty gritty, quick clean out, get back to riding kind of rebuild here. If you want to see a more in-depth carburetor service or rebuild, post it in the comments. Maybe we'll do one of those as well. Uh, but otherwise, just do that, clean out the jet, and then go ride again. Let's see, now that we're cleaned out, how many kicks does this thing take to fire up? So this is completely cold. See how we do.